that, I want to uh, plug uh, three users that I want people to subscribe to. Um, pretty much people that are probably going to be doing a lot of these, uh, that do a lot of these type of videos. First is uh, Spearmaster. The other one is Triple uh, X, the Peach Triple X, and the other one is Smart Mouth Pundits. And I'll put the link of them and the links of them in the description. Just check them out, subscribe to them, see if you like them. This video right here is a reply and response to. Um, the user apologetic in her video entitled "The Gay Agenda," and this video is not going to be basic. It's not going to be bashing anyone's religion, so just take that apart and don't look at that. What I'm pretty much doing is a lot of these fundamentalist Christians and a lot of these Jesus freaks, which are pretty much people that I would say that do nothing more than base every single solitary second and moment of their life based on what the Bible says. Those are the people that, you know, give religion a bad name. And I'm one of those people that are kind of like on the borderline of, you know, Christianity and atheism because, you know, there's stuff, you know, I do believe in, there's, there, I do somewhat believe in there is a God, uh, but at the same time, there is stuff within religion that I do question. This is pretty much more or less due to the, um, ignorance and pretty much the bigotry within your video based on the uh, whole gay agenda, this whole thing that a lot of these uh, um, right-wing conservative fundamentalist Christians, you know, believe in some something bad is going to happen to the sanctity of marriage just if gay people are allowed to get married, which is the most ignorant thing I've probably ever have heard. Um, the one thing I've pretty much said to people a lot, and you know, this is one thing you got to just think about it and just be have an open mind about this. And pretty much, the thing I've all, I've said to a lot of people um, before is, what is this going to do to us straight people? Is this going to really affect our lives? Is this going to change anything if gay people are allowed to get married? And if you are sensible and you are not, you know, one of these uh, fundamentalist Christians that you know base every single solitary second and moment of your life on the Bible, then you're going to say, okay, no. It's not going to have any change, or you're not going to have any notion of change within it, within your life of it. Do you, do you have to embrace it? Do you have to say you're glad to see it happen? No. That's one of the things you said in your video where you're pretty much saying, oh, now we're going to have to be forced to like it. No, you don't have to be forced to like it. It's just one of those things where I don't understand why so many uh, conservative and, you know, fundamentalist Christians are... You know, it's all tied up with this whole gay uh, marriage issue, which I think, you know, should have never pretty much been an issue. It's one of those things, why do we care if gay people are allowed to get married? I mean, I'm one of those people that think people do deserve to have equal rights, and I don't think there's anything that says they shouldn't have equal rights. Um, just because the Bible says it's sinful, um, homosexuality is sinful, well, there's a lot of things in the Bible that... Um, would be considered sin, but it's actually okay in the Bible. Like, um, if you're one of those people that believe in every single thing in the Bible, I guess you're okay, and you're you're one of those people that say, okay, it's okay to, uh, you know, stone people and um, kill them to death that way because the Bible says that's okay to do. Uh, but yet, a lot of you, a lot of you fallenless Christians, look away from those things within the Bible like that and say, oh, that's based on old stuff. Yet, you know. It's still in the Bible, and a lot of you uh, Christians based everything on your life on it. And the thing uh, you mentioned in your video was uh, something about uh, Canada not allowing you know free speech or anything just because people have different views on the whole gay marriage thing. And Canada is uh, actually one of those countries that actually allows gay marriage, and it's it's legal in Canada. Unlike in the United States, where it's um, legal in some states, but most most likely in a good portion of almost every state is not legal, and especially with the passing of Prop 8 in California, it um, got overturned to allow gay marriage in that state. Which, and one of those things, I mean, even if you don't agree, even if you are one of those people that, for some reason or another, and I don't know why you would support Prop 8, um, if you're one of those people, you gotta just look at that. And even if you, for some fucked up reason, you supported that, you gotta look at it. That is fucking unconstitutional. That you know, that uh, Prop 8 being allowed to be passed. I mean, something like that should not have been able to pass due to the fact of, you know, separation of church and state. And that was pretty much, in my opinion, more or less church getting involved with state government, and it should not be allowed. Now, obviously, we know that, 
you know, Christ, uh, Christianity, you know, and religion are run in politics a lot because a lot of politicians use Christianity to, um, you know, have people vote for them, especially the uh, Republican. The Republicans do it a lot. Uh, next thing you said uh, was something involving um, a uh, pastor or priest in um, Sweden, which was uh, actually jailed for um, actually, I guess, making some um, offensive or over-the-top remarks, um, offending some um, um, gay people, which I think should be should be okay. I mean, if you got jailed, I mean, it's pretty much you know a complete you know hate crime. You know, you're discriminating a certain you know people with a certain sexual orientation. It's the same thing as people um, discriminating and being racist towards people of other colors. You know, either black or um, you know Asian, Chinese, Japanese, or anything like that. It's the same exact thing. It's nothing different. Just because it's um, a sexual orientation instead of actually a race. It's still being a bigot. And you said that's one thing a lot of people are going to say, oh, because we don't agree with your opinion on this. And, you know, a lot of people are going to say, oh, we're going to call you a bigot. Well, pretty much, yes, you are. I mean, I don't see what the, like I said at the beginning, there's no big issue in this whole gay marriage thing. It's one of those things that a lot of the uh, Christian right has been making more of a big deal than anyone about it. And, I don't understand why. I mean, it's not going to affect them. It's not going to change anything. It's not going to, um, and especially one thing you mentioned in your video, you mentioned um, that, oh, this is going to ruin the sanctity or the foundation of marriage. Well, the sanctity and the foundation of marriage has been thrown out the fucking door and thrown out the window a long time ago, especially with the divorce rate now. And I don't, <laughs> obviously, like I said, there's not going to be any change if they were allowed to get married. And I'll see no big issue in the whole fact about it. Um, then, and then up next, you uh, did somewhat of a comparison with the uh, civil rights and the gay movement, which um, is the same, pretty much word for word, the same thing that uh, Fool for a Lifetime and Crazy 316 said, and pretty much comparing all the saying something about the civil rights movement. Did get, were gays not allowed to be, were gays forced to be on the back of the bus? Were they forced not to be able to uh, be in certain restaurants, be not allowed to drink at the water fountain? Um, well, no, they weren't allowed. At the same time, just like the uh, blacks during the civil rights movement, they were pretty much persecuted, and a lot of them were killed back in the day just because of their um, sexual orientation, which is pretty much the same thing as the civil rights movement, pretty much being killed persecuted and um, discriminated just because of who, who they are. So I don't, I, you know, there's a, not something that you could say that's no difference between the civil rights movement and the gay movement, especially you seem like someone that's not going to want to do a lot of research about this whole thing. And um, if you actually do a little research, you find out during the 60s and 70s, there were a lot of persecution, especially even way before that, especially centuries before that, people were murdered just for being gay. You know, nowadays it's no big issue, obviously. Well, for the most part, it's no big issue unless, you know, you're, you know, one of these, uh, you know, right-wing Christian freaks. Um, it's not really a big issue for you. And especially, you know, even someone of the caliber of Bill O'Reilly, which is a fucking insane nut and is nothing more than a Republican propaganda and probably the uh, Nazi or the Stalin of the media and he even has stated, you know, not that long ago that even for him, this whole gay marriage thing is no longer an issue. So if he even says it's no longer an issue, that's like, you know, saying, okay, a lot of you should, you know, just open your eyes. Stop making it such a big fucking issue. It's not. And it won't do anything to your life, like I said. Then you went on the, uh, the next two points, um, which are pretty much the thing that a lot of uh, fundamentalist Christians and a lot of people that are against the uh, gay marriage thing, pretty much the first thing you mentioned was that um, there are no scientific evidence or facts pointing that there's, you know, a gay gene or um, they're born this way. Well, actually, there has been studies uh, to point to that there is possibly a gay gene or at least a gene to uh, um, have people born this way. They're not, you know, some... Uh, you know, some choose to be that way, but 
for the most part, a lot of them are born that way, for the most part, and especially there's been studies with that. So I guess if you don't agree with scientific fact there, even worse than that, I guess you don't believe in evolution at all either, which that's the thing, you know, I definitely want to throw in here was, uh, I mean, that's just completely insane that, you know, in, in a recent poll, 63 percent of Americans do not believe in any fact of evolution at all, which is completely idiotic. I don't, I, I'm disappointed to even hear that, that that many Americans are that fucking idiotic to not believe in evolution, because evolution is just scientific fact. It's not, you know, it's just like, you know, gravity. It's scientific fact. You can't really, you know, prove anything wrong, prove anything to debunk evolution. Evolution is just a complete scientific fact. And obviously, I guess you're probably one, going to be one of those people that probably say, oh, evolution's just a made-up thing. Um, and I don't want to say why anyone, how anyone would not believe in evolution, because obviously there's scientific fact, like I said, towards it. And obviously, we are descendants of apes. And um, okay, then um, the uh, next thing you said was obviously the main fact that I get, that I got out of your video, which was the thing that you're saying, oh, uh, gay people do not deserve the right to have equal rights. Well, you didn't really word it that way. The way you worded it was, okay, I'm not against them having equal rights, but I'm against them having special rights. Well, since when have they wanted special rights? Um, you pretty much made it seem like, oh, they don't want equal rights. They want more rights than us, which is complete bullshit. They just want equal rights. They just want to be able to have the right to uh, marry their significant other, um, whether it's you know two men or two female. They just want to marry their significant other and just have the same equal rights and same equalities that married couples have, which I don't have no problem with, and I think most sensible people will not have a problem with. Um, obviously, you have a problem with, and probably some idiots like Fool for a Lifetime, especially Crazy316, or any of these other um, Christian nuts on YouTube. I know they have a problem with it, but for the most part, any sensible human being will not have no problem with it. The next thing you uh, said in your video was pretty much, you know, one of the classic things a lot of, you know, bigots um, or anything that say, you know, when they say, oh, we, we, we don't agree with these people, we don't like their beliefs, we don't like them, but oh, by the way, I'm not a bigot, I'm not, you know, against them, I have, you know, gay family members or gay friends, which is pretty much just a way to, you know, put, put them over and not sound like they're bigots, and I highly doubt that, you know, she, uh, she has anybody within her family or any friends that are gay because if she did I'm pretty sure that a lot of them if they heard her thoughts about you know gay marriage or anything like that I'm pretty sure a lot of them wouldn't want to associate with her or associate with anyone with those beliefs if they were that way and um, that's just you know one of those things it's like you know it's like one of those classic lines you know like so, like the same thing, uh, you know, a bigot or a racist would say, you know, if they want to prove, they'll they'll say something to prove that they're they're not racist because they'll say, oh, I'm not racist because um, you know, I have black friends or I, or something like that. You know, it's the same exact line, and you know, it's just one of those things. To say, oh, by the way, even though I hate these people, I actually have some friends with it, which sound, makes them sound more even more dumb saying that because we all know it's just complete bullshit. Then probably came the uh, most priceless part of the video that I'm responding to, and um, obviously we'll have the link of this video in the description, and this was the part where you blamed the uh, gays for the uh, falling of the Roman and Greek Empire, which, God, this goes up there probably with some of the idiotic stuff that you know Crazy316 has said in some of his recent videos, or even probably close up there, not, not that close, but at least close up there probably with Venom Fang X with his idiotic remarks about um, the Jews asking for the Holocaust, the Holocaust, which, God, means that's got to be one of the most idiotic statements I've ever heard. But this is probably the closest thing I've heard that that comes close to there, that she's blaming the uh, fall of the Roman Empire and the fall of the Greek Empire due to... Um, due to gays, due to um, marriage being broken apart or anything like that, which 
A lot of these people do nothing more than, you know, say, oh, the sanctity of marriage is going to be broken up or the foundation of marriage is going to be hurt. Well, the foundation of marriage, if you haven't looked, the foundation of marriage hasn't been shit in years and hasn't meant anything. You know, just look at the divorce rate in America. And for the most part, if someone said, hey, if you uh, want to, what would you do? Would you bet on a um, 18 to 25 year old uh, uh, female male couple or a... Um, gay marriage of an 18, 15 year old uh, um, couple and which one of those you think will last longer as far as a marriage and I would probably actually uh, pick uh, the gay marriage because I actually think they will probably last probably longer because actually they seem like they actually somewhat care about the sanctity of marriage a little more since they actually are fighting so much for the right for gay marriage which I think you know just need to get over this whole thing and you know, I know a lot. Of, I know you're probably not someone that seems to be someone that um, will um, say, "Oh, they," uh, you know, the whole thing. Like I said, like the civil rights movement and the whole gay gay movement um, is this pretty much the same exact thing. You know, obviously the civil rights movement, as far as um, historical purposes, obviously has more more history behind it than the gay movement, but it's pretty much the same thing. They were both persecuted. One was persecuted in the civil rights movement because of their race, and the other. Um, movement, the gay movement, were pretty much persecuted for their sexual orientation, which is pretty much nothing even, nothing better on the, um, either case, and obviously in both cases, they were persecuted and pretty much killed just because of who they were and what they were and what they stood for. I mean, that's just one of those things, you know, you have to just look at that, and, um, this just been a pretty much a video, I just wanted to get my two cents out on this against this video, like I said, just check it out, I got the link in the description, it's only a five minute video that I'm responding to, but I it's just one of those videos I had to respond to because I saw some idiotic stuff like, you know, full four lifetime or crazy 316 videos. I almost responded to one of them and did somewhat of the similar type of video like this, but this video was just, you know, took it to the next level. I just said, fuck it, let me just get my two cents in on about this and um, uh, just to uh, let my subscribers know, I will be back with a uh, video tomorrow. I'll do uh, my, th you know, random thoughts. Today I was probably going to do a video, just random thoughts, and so I'm going to do some movie thoughts and kind of do a rant on one movie, and I'll probably do that tomorrow. Then I'll um, do a uh, Q and A probably the day uh, after that, or like, uh, or sometime um, by this, sometime you know by this weekend I'll have the Q, I, um, new Q and A up as well. Just wanted to throw that out to my subscribers. Um, if you did uh, hope you did enjoy this video. It's just one of those videos. Uh, I just wanted to get my two cents in on this subject um, and just talk about it real quick and um yeah that's it peace